Hey guys, Pedro up here, and welcome to the 10th episode in our 2D Java game programming series. And today, we are going to be adding in sound. Alright, so the way our sound is going to work is we're going to take in your, uh, your load in your file, we're going to decode it, because and then re-encode it into a nice format that Java likes. So, let's go to our engine. I'm going to make a new package because graphical effects doesn't really fit well for audio whoopsie so i'm just gonna call it no let's do is uh, do that again let me say that i'm just gonna call it audio i'm gonna spell audio properly here one of these times new package dot audio boom and i'm going to add a new class and it's going to be called a sound clip Boom, that's what I'm gonna call it. So now we got a sound clip. And I'm gonna make a constructor for my sound clip. And it's going to take in a string path. Boom. So now we need to get the audio that we're loading in. And we're gonna load it all in as a nice stream. Now, this could all be put on one line, but it'd be a very long line of code. So we're gonna put it on multiple lines of code. So we're gonna make an input stream. I'm going to call it audio source, and it's going to be uh, the same way we loaded in our image, which will be just like soundclip.class.get resource as a stream, right, path. So we're just going to get the stream first off, and we're going to import input stream, and then we're going to make another input stream, which is going to get another stream from our audio source here. So it's going to be a buffered in, we'll call it. It'll be equal to a new buffered input stream. So we're going to put it into the RAM. And we're just going to do audio source. Boom. And then we're going to get an audio input stream from our buffered input stream. I'm going to call this AIS for audio input stream. I'm going to set that equal to audio system dot get audio audio input stream so just like with the image there's a image io dot load like that read for getting in files there's the same thing in java already for audio it's called the audio system and we're going to get it as an input stream okay input stream that one and we're going to put buffered in into that boom Get audio input stream. What's the thing here? Oh yeah, all this is going to have to be in a try catch statement. So we're going to surround with a try catch, and oh geez, uh, it wants multiple. Surround with the multi try catch, so it's all in one line. And we're going to take the try, and I'm going to. Why did I get rid of all that? Control Z. Oh, I control Z. That's why I control Y. Control Y. I want to control X. We're going to move the try above it, and we're just going to put everything in a try catch just uh make it easy and we'll get that catch out of here get rid of that comment all right now we need to know what format our uh, audio is in so we're gonna do audio format and we're just gonna call it a base format right what are we what are we giving uh, uh what are we giving it and we're gonna do ais that get format so we're gonna get the format of it and now we're going to create a new format that we're going to in, uh, in, uh, that we're going to decode it with, right? So audio format, uh, we'll call it decode format, is equal to new audio format. This is going to be a long line of code, by the way, because for some reason audio is just a bunch of long line of code. Audio format dot encoding that PCM we want signed. All right, comma, make a new line because we're going to need it. <laughs> and then we're going to do, so our new format's going to be base format that get sample rate, comma, base format that get, uh, it's actually not going to be base format. This is going to be just 16. We want it to be 16 bits. Um, my phone's not going off. Base format that get channels. 
So we're gonna get the channels and then base format that get channels times two and then base format that get sample rate and then we're going to say false and that is a very long constructor for creating an audio format which uh if you look at it there's a lot so sample rate sample size and bits and channel and frame size frame there's a lot of different uh settings audio can be pretty technical but that's going to be our settings for decoding now we're going to create our new uh, audio input stream and we're calling it called uh, decoded audio input stream because we're going to decode it with this for uh, decode format and it's going to be equal to audio system dot get audio input stream and we're going to use the decode format on our audio input stream boom so now we have a brand new decoded audio format now to store this we need to store it into a clip which is the java sound clip so i'm going to actually put it at the top because that's actually what this class is based around and that's going to be clip clip boom and i'm also going to input a private float controller and the float controller will be used to control how loud the sound is so I'm gonna call it a gain control boom all right all oh, this is from the sound all right so we're gonna say clip is equal to audio system that get clip you can't just say clip equals new clip that doesn't really work uh, we need to uh add exception to existing catch clause so now we got three catches here <laughs> and then we're going to tell this clip that we just created to open our new input stream all right and then i'm going to say again control is equal to a float control of clip dot get control and then we need to tell it what type and that's going to be float control dot type oops, type that i want so you can change a lot you can change the reverbs volume sound i want the master gain there is volume but we want the gain because that's more useful and there we go and that is the constructor for our clip now we need to play the clip so how do you how do you play a clip so we're going to say public void play right and what we're going to do is if the clip is null just return we didn't load anything in i'm actually going to initialize clip to the null there should never be a null clip but we're going to just do that just in case for some reason the clip is null i'm going to tell it uh, to stop running if it is running right but we don't have a stop yet so I'm going to make a uh, public void stop boom and then we're going to say clip dot set frame position to zero so I'm going to not capital C but lowercase c so we're going to set the clip to say go to the beginning of the clip and then while our clip that is not running so we have an is running uh, while it's not running try to run the clip so we're going to say clip that start because the problem is is sometimes when you say clip that start sometimes it doesn't start and when you're when you're when you're making a game and you throw like a shuriken or something you want it to make the noise if it doesn't make the noise that's weird so we want it to keep trying to play it until it actually plays. So that way we never miss the sound. Otherwise, if you miss sounds, it just sounds weird and broken. So we're going to keep doing that. Now we need to make our stop. So that is if our clip dot is running, we'll just say clip dot stop. Not start. Stop. Simple enough. All right. Now we want to be able to close our sound clip. So make a public void close because that's important so we're going to say stop stop running 
we're going to say clip.drain, which will empty the stream. And then we're going to say clip.close to get rid of it. Okay. Then we do public void loop. So if, what if we have background music and we just want it to loop? Well, if we say loop, we'll say clip.loop. Oh. And then it wants a, very, uh, a number here. So there's only one for some reason. So just say loop continuously. I don't know why that's even a thing. Because there's only one option. And then we'll say while. So I'm also going to then just start it. So we're just going to say start. Uh, da, 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 da. Start. Oh, I mean play. And then we'll just tell it to play. So if we say loop, it'll set it to loop and then play. And then we want to set the volume. So I'm just going to say public void set volume. You could explore more like changing the sample rate and the, and the gang and reverb if you want to get into that. But I only really care about the volume right now. So we just do volume value. And we'll say gain control dot set value. And we're going to set it to value. Wow, easy. Boom. And one more because I think I might need it, which will just be a public boolean is running and I will return clip that is active not active it is running so there we go now we have a sound clip in Java radio let's give it a test before I get out of here I need a there we go so I don't actually have a sound clip on me so I need to record one real quick so I'm gonna go audacity and we're gonna record a sound clip real quick <laughs> I don't actually have one Audacity is loading. All right. If you don't have Audacity, I recommend it. Uh, discard project. Yes. Okay. So Audacity is a nice free audio recording program. So I'm just going to record uh, a noise. I don't know. I'll, I'll clack my fingers or something. It's just a. Uh... That was really bad. Um, let's clap. There we go. And then that's loud. All right, but I want to edit this a little bit just to make it so it starts immediately and ends immediately like that. <laughs> All right, I got a clap noise. I'm going to export my audio. I'm going to export it as a wave just because the wave is a very nice file. Um, let's go to my desktop. Go to the actual area where the code is. Module engine, right? Res. Got fonts. I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call it audio. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm just gonna call it test save. And then it'll ask me for this crap. I don't care. And then we come back in here, refresh our project. We now have an audio folder called test. And we got our test there. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to make a private sound clip. Clip. And in the constructor, I'm going to say clip equals new sound clip. And we're going to load in slash. Uh, yeah, rid of my image. No, it's still there. Slash uh, audio slash test dot wave. There we go. And I am going to on our update instead of saying, hey, we pressed a I'm going to say clip that play. Okay. And now if we load, everything should load, and it does. So if I press A. Oh, geez. Oh, I didn't click. Oh, yeah, that's one thing to note. We might actually change that. It doesn't grab our attention, so input doesn't work until we click on the window. And then it's really loud. I'm going to turn that down. We'll click in the, the recorder. But, yeah, so now when I press A, it plays my noise. That is really loud. So also like it's loud. So let's change it. So clip that set volume 0.2. Let's see what that sounds like. I mean, it sounds slightly quieter. It sounds really loud to me. I don't know what it sounds like to you guys, but it's probably not that loud. <laughs> Is set volume working right? Set volume to zero. 
That doesn't seem to be changing it. That's weird. Am I missing something with my volume? Game controls set up properly. Do you have like a clip that available in size? Is there like an update? Do I have to update the clip once I change the setting? Nope, see, loop continuous is the only one. Hmm, that's weird. My gain doesn't seem to be working. That. Hmm, let's try it. Let's change it to the volume instead of gain. Let's actually change this from gain to volume. Actually, we might actually want the volume. Let's try the volume. So we're just going to change it like that. Unsupported type. It's, yeah, volume's not supported. Ox return, oxen balance, master gain, pan, reverb. Control for overall gain online. It is a quantity in decibel. Oh, yeah. Gain is decibel. Decibel zero is just means no modification. <laughs> That's why. So negative 20 is subtract 20 decibels. Yeah, now it's a lot quieter. Okay, yeah, it was working. I just forgot. I thought it was zero to one. No, it's actual decibel. It's not a float like that. So yeah, negative 20 makes it a lot quieter. Let me uh, turn it up in the recording if you don't hear it. So yeah, just like that. So there we go. It works. Just uh, had a little bit of brain fart there. So that is our sound clip, and that's going to be it for this episode. So yeah, guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.